As a fan of Sanjalila Bhansali's work, I was eagerly anticipating the release of his latest project, the Netflix series Hiramandi. Unfortunately, while the series is undoubtedly a feast for the eyes, it falls short when it comes to delivering a compelling narrative. Hiramandi is set in the pre-independence era in the famed Hiramandi district of Lahore, known for its thriving courtesan culture. Bhansali's trademark opulence is on full display with lavish sets, exquisite costumes, and impeccable cinematography. that transports the viewer to a bygone era the attention to detail is truly remarkable and the series is a visual masterpiece however the story itself is a letdown the plot meanders aimlessly with the characters often engaging in a petty squabbles and past struggles that feel more like a melodramatic soap opera than a nuanced exploration of the lives of courtesans the dialogue is frequently overwrought and the pacing is painfully slow making it a challenge to stay engaged one of the biggest issues for me was the lack of character development while the ensemble cast which includes talented actors like manisha koirala aditi rao haidari sonakshi sinha delivers solid performances their characters feel one dimensioned and underdeveloped the series spends too much time on unnecessary subplots and fails to delve deeply into the complex lives and struggles of the courtesans another major flaw is the way the series handles the historical context bansali's attempt to weave in the growing independence movement feels forced and lacks the necessary tension and urgency the scenes depicting the resistance against the british rule came across as artificial and lacked the gritty realism one would expect however it's not all doom and gloom the series does have its moments of brilliance particularly in the final episode where bansali showcases his flair for grand visually striking set pieces the scene of the women of hiramandi descending upon the streets torch bearing protesters storming a fort is a powerful and memorable sequence that hints at the potential the series had in the end hiramandi is a mixed bag for me while it's undoubtedly a visual feast the weak storytelling and underdeveloped characters make it a frustrating viewing experience as a fan of bansali's work i found moments to appreciate but for those seeking a more compelling and nuanced exploration of the lives of courtesans in pre-independence india the series may leave you wanting more thank you